Now both of these, the for loop and the while true loop, are known as pre-test repetition structures. Pre-test because they test for the condition first, long before they execute the code. And so if you code things carefully, these two structures are actually adequate. However, there may be situations where this code could never execute. For example, what if I started z out to be 5 instead of 0? Then the code I put here would never execute. What if down here, you know, we saw what happened before, what happens if banana starts at 0? Then this would never execute. And the reason is, is that they're pre-test conditions, or pre-test repetition structures. There is a post-test repetition structure, and that's the third one we'll go over, and that is a do-while loop. Okay, and it's, you know, while these would be pre-test, this is truly a post-test repetition structure. And if we were going to do a do-while loop, it would sort of be We'll do that as far as the same behavior, but it would sort of be the inverse of what we're doing here. So in other words, I could say do, and I'd add the body of code that I wanted to execute. I'd put that here in these do braces. And then at the very end of this, I'd have a while, and I would close it with a semicolon. And the condition or test, um, let's say, well, it's greater than zero. We'll just make that kind of our test condition once again. So, um, you know, if if this were a pretest loop, if banana starts out at, with an initial value of zero, this would never happen. But being a post-test loop, this code will happen at least once, and then it'll reach the sentinel value and break out of the loop. So a little bit different from four. See, it happens at least once, even though the sentinel value you know, or exit condition for the loop has already been met before it even began. So those, that would be, a, you know, use for a, a do while loop. And on the other hand, if I started out at 10 and I decrement, it does the exact same thing the while true loop did. In this case, counts down from 10 to 1. So three different types of repetition structures, a for loop, a while true loop, a do while loop. Remember that for and while are pretest loops, and that do while is a post-test loop.